In this video, I want to share with you five powerful ways to bounce back when life knocks you down. Stay with me. Watch this video all the way to the end. I've got other things lined up that I know you do not want to miss. Let's get into it. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. You don't want to miss anything when it comes to great music, entertainment, inspiration, and motivation. Love to have you in the family. So, five powerful ways to bounce back when life knocks you down. If you all look around, and at the time of this recording, a lot of things are still going on with this pandemic in this world, and a lot of people have been knocked down. I've been knocked down. I can share my experience where I've come from. I've had times when I've been knocked down, and I've chosen to get back up. We can all have a choice. We can either stay down, or we can get back up. So I want to show five powerful ways that have helped me to get back up, to bounce back when life knocks you down. The first thing that has helped me is be aware. Stop and investigate. A lot of times in my life I can think back when things happen and I always wanted to make a restart so quick that I end up making the same mistakes over and over again. So I had to learn, stop and investigate. See what happened. What happened in the fall? Was I pushed? Did I trip? How did I get down in the first place? I think a lot of times in my life I, I riff so quick back to the starting point, back to the drawing board, back to the playground field that I never took the time to investigate what caused that downfall in the first place. So that's the first thing. Look and see what happened. Investigate. Get the facts because then we can find out what's really going on. Anytime life knocks you down, anytime you want to respond to a crisis, the first thing to do is to stop, be aware, see what's going on, then you can get the facts to move on to the next step. If we can get that, we're all right and we are well on our way. The second thing that has helped me to respond back to a crisis, to bounce back when life has knocked me down, is to get up. Now what that means is to make a restart. I did a, a power talk a little while ago. Some of you all remember that one. That was the one who started me back on this path of encouraging and using my gift as an inspirational speaker. So I have to realize that I have to get up, start back. And a lot of times fear keeps people from starting over. Fear of success, fear of failure, fear that you're going to fail in your business. Maybe it's in your marriage. Maybe it's in your, your ministry or maybe you have some type of enterprise that you're running. What keeps us from getting up? That's the second thing. We have to get up with the knowledge from step one. Now we know what happened. Now we can get up with some facts on our side. So that's the thing. Get up and start over. Do you have the desire? Then you are right. Are you willing to take the action? You're well on your way. Are you deciding to just be yourself? Can you just be you because there's no one that's just like you? Then you can get up and start over. The third thing that has helped me when it comes to bouncing back when life knocks you down is to be ready and willing to always learn and grow. I've adopted a model over here for us, family, that we may win some and we may learn some, but we'll never lose as long as we are learning. So that's the third thing that has helped me and I know it would help you always be willing to learn and grow. It's always a lesson involved. I like to say, make some new mistakes. That way I can learn some new lessons. I, for a long time, I found myself making the same old mistake over and over again. Found myself doing the same thing, expecting some different result. Now I'm realizing all I have to do is learn from every mistake, determined to learn, make some new mistakes that we can learn and grow. That'll help me so that I can bounce back and, and be able to respond to any type of crisis in my life. I'm willing to learn. The more we learn, the more we're able to earn in our life. And that's not just finances, that's mental and spiritual and, and emotional, and psychological. So am I willing to learn? Fourth thing that's helped me to make a bounce back when life has knocked me down is to be willing to share my experience with someone else. Your experience may be different than mine and, and not everyone's going to be an inspirational speaker. Not everyone is going to have a YouTube channel like this one. Not everyone's going to be able to stand on stage and share and, and millions of people hearing them. Not everybody can do that, but we all have a way that we can share something with someone else on how we made it through, how we got back up, how we made a restart. We can share that with others and give them that inspiration that if you can do it, they can do it too. So that's part of it, sharing our experience, share it with someone. It could be a phone call, it could be a, a chat, it could be a, a email, it could be something like what I'm doing right now. Maybe somebody's watching this and you've always wanted to be on YouTube, you've always wanted to be on camera, you always wanted to share your energy with the world. So if you got that desire to do it, share with someone. That's the thing that's going to help us to bounce back because we're a community. 
We're in this thing together. And that's why we have to share with each other, building each other up where we're torn down. So you can share yours and inspire them that if you can do it, they can too. Fifth thing that has helped me is to develop what I call an after hell attitude. Y'all know, I always said over here, after hell has done its worst, I'll still be at my best. So we have to develop one of those attitudes that says, no matter what hell may come my way, no matter what trial may come in my life, no matter what challenge I may face, as long as I've got an after hell attitude, I'll be all right. Because after hell has done its worst, I'll still be at my best. After the dark forces have come against me, the light within me, that God being within me that I am, is still gonna be omnipotently powerful in my life. And this will allow me to bounce back and respond with power. Do me a favor, hit that like button. Also, subscribe. Become part of the family. Great music, entertainment, inspiration, motivation, a whole lot of fun right here. Hit that subscribe button. Join the family. I upload videos like this every week so you'll never run out of inspiration and having a lot of fun right here. We're on the campaign right now, we need a thousand subscribers, family, to beat this whole YouTube game. We need a thousand people. So when you do subscribe, go in the comment section and comment and say, I subscribe. Yeah, I subscribe. I'll come right behind you, build some excitement together. So do that. Check the links in the description. A lot of exciting things down there. Some will support me and help me to pay bills over here and will support you and your family as well. So check those out. Got the merchandise. One of my favorites is After Hell Have Done Its Worst, I'll Still Be at my best. Check that out and a lot of other different universal designs. Get something that is a way for you to get an immediate return on your investment at next level. So listen, I appreciate all that you all have done. You all mean so much to me and it's given me an opportunity to use my gifts and my talents. So thank you so much. Now listen, another video is going to come up on the screen. I want to share that with you. Click that. See me over there. Stay blessed. Stay positive. And remember, there's nothing that needs to be done in our lives that together we cannot do. I'll see you on the next level. Peace.